Hello, this is Insights in Small Doses. Yeah, I'd like to talk a little bit about angels. Angels. Mm. Do you believe in angels? Have you ever seen an angel? Angels sometimes appear on earth in physical form. I remember many years ago, I was quite ill, early 90s. And um, I had decided that, because I figured out how to die, I decided that that's it, I was going to go. So I laid down on the sofa. I wasn't feeling well at all. And I slowly breathed and I slowly separated my consciousness from my body. And as I was doing that, there was a knock on the door. Actually, before the knock, there wasn't a knock. The, the, the phone rang. The telephone rang and I got up, being me, I got up pulled myself back into my body and I got up and I went and answered the phone and I talked to my friend who I hadn't heard from in years at that moment they decided that you know um, uh, I was just thinking about you know I have to call so they called me and as I turned around because where I was living I had the door open to let air through as I turned around I saw two ladies coming towards me do you know that movie City of Angels they looked exactly like them. Two ladies in black trench coats with their little briefcases and both of them had blonde, blonde, golden blonde hair walked towards my house, to, towards the, the front door. And I, and I remember looking at them and laughing and they said to me, hello. And I said, hello. And they, they said, we have a message for you. And I just laughed. I could not believe that these people had come to my door. So of course I'm, you know, I'm just like, I'm not having this. I'm not having anything to do with this. No angels is gonna come and talk to me today, right? And uh, they, may we come in? They said, no, no, you can't come in. You're not allowed in, right? I knew that the guides, cause I've had guides all my life. I've been aware of them. I know when they get all tricky and I know when they're so protective and supportive of me. I know all of these things. I've had it since I was quite young. However, I was not going to have them walk into my space and tell me that they're going to save me. Heck no, I'm not going to do that because I've decided I'm leaving. And the phone rang again and I turned to answer the phone and they they said, uh, I said, you know, I can't talk to you. I'm going to answer the phone. And when I picked up the phone and turned around, they disappeared. Angels. How wonderful is that? The message that came to me was that there's no way I was going anywhere until I'd finished what I came here to do. <laughs> and that was how I ended up on this journey, actually. I ended up on this journey because I got ill. And from then I had to work on my anger, I had to work on my pain, I had to deal with the emotional stories that I carried all those years. Yeah, that was a really interesting angel's journey, angel story.